go back and take care of them with uh, flaming arrows because four of these um, I'm not so comfortable with four of them oh speaking of two star enemies there you go Ah <laughs> uh, no you can't so yeah we're just running look at them a bunch of them what a happy family <laughs> this is incredibly easy so now you can just smack them down there. Oh boy, <laughs> greetings fellow Vikings. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another adventure in the world of Valheim. Now, if you recall from the last episode that we just smacked Ikethir in his bum, so we took care of that. And we are now, um, also we found some more bees, ready to go and actually explore some uh, dark forest to grab the ore. We need copper ore and everything else accordingly. Let's craft the pickaxes first. I'm only gonna do two pickaxes and let's get 15 wood here to plant the beehives. Okay. Might as well repair. So look at that, antler pickaxe, we're here. Now the raids will become more um, problematic, but I think we should be able to pull through with them. So let's add two more bees. Will this work here? The bees are happy. Now if they're happy, I'm happy. Can I go like this? No. Okay, look at that. Look at all that honey. Okay, goodness. It's a lot of honey. But oh boy, we're getting close to having a forge in here, so... Uh, before going, I need to do 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 do. Let's see. We have two pickaxes right there. I'm gonna have the habit on keeping the arrows with me, so let's go. We should go like this. Okay, we should go like that. Let's just grab some more food. I forgot to cook the food in the last episode, so let's just do that now, really fast. Meanwhile, while the food is cooking, I should have got rid of my items, but we're gonna do that by the time we're gonna leave this place. I think I have enough arrows with me for this adventure. But yeah, pickaxing. Do I have any stones here? Luckily, I have no stones in this, uh, in this place. Now, I don't know how well this thing will go. But I do know we're gonna need a lot of copper. A lot of copper and a lot of sin. We can have the cauldron update, get better foods like the minced meat sauce. And stuff like that. If I can find the... Well, imagine finding the... Uh, the swamp. But ideally it's not, uh, it's not a good idea to go for the swamp. Because it's pretty far and you have no portal. So what you wanna do is actually... When you go for the swamp to explore and grab resources and go with the boat, right? That's the fastest and the easiest way to get there and get the resources. Oh boy, there we go. We just started. I just exited the base. Where are you going? We just exited the base and they're here already. There's one more dungeon that I should... Um, oh no, there's raining. Great. Well, I was looking forward to this. I was actually looking forward to this. Is it the thunderstorm? It was just rain. Because there's usually usually not just rain, so there's... There are thunderstorms. Now, let's see. Where on earth... Will I find copper? Is this copper now? Somehow, the, the rock formations are really confusing. Sometimes I think they're... Uh... Oh, look at that, a bird. The only thing I'm worried about at this point are uh, trolls. Since the weather is like this... I think I heard one, or... Is it a troll? No. Oh, they're just fighting here. Yeah, I see you. Oh, really? 
thought you should be gone by now. Oh, I haven't checked this one. So, uh, it's a new dungeon. Okay. There's another skeleton uh, in the background going everywhere. I just need... Oh, look. Yeah, 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 I heard you. I saw you. You're gone. There we go. I just need to get up there and get my feathers. So you want to tell me that this was it. This was all the rain that was uh, happening and... Oh my god. Oh, so he went to kill one deer. And I also got some seeds in there. Okay, but... Oh boy. Look at this. So here's the thing. I came here without my hoe. I just realized that. So I might need to <laughs> go back and grab my hoe and also plant... Plant? Really? Yes, let's plant. Also go and get these resources back to the base. Oh, I haven't found an ore. I want to find an ore first and then go back for the base. Or to the base. Oh, there it is. So just near the... Uh, there's an ore inside a rock. Oh, this is stupid. Why? Come on, game. That's the most annoying thing you can have in this game, is an ore inside a rock. But okay, so it's right up here. I don't know why the game is lagging so much. Jesus. But yeah, I do, I do believe this area is loading. Loading, loading. Because it's a new area. I haven't discovered this yet. Oh, good. And we have a lot of blueberries, so we should be able to have our... Uh, or the better food actually let's see can I have more ore in here no so a quick exploration is necessary yeah I should have um, should have known actually come on I should have known that I need the hoe with these guys you're only getting some bow skill if you're gonna play the bow or whatever weapon you wanna play and try. Okay, so we are a 30 bows skill. We should be around 50 by the time we leave the Black Forest. If we're not at 50 bows, then we have nothing. We have no business in the uh, in the actual swamp. Oh, there. Free feathers. I'll take them. Why not? Okay, so let's grab the hoe, because this was... A, I came here really underprepared. So yeah. For those players who have the good habit of keeping... Uh, <laughs> or is it good, though? The good habit of keeping the items at themselves all the time. Okay, this is full. This is full up, so no more resin for us in here. Okay, the miscellaneous compartment. There we go. So the rest of them are just food stuff. And also get have to get rid of this. Oh, I forgot to take the honey. Let's see, seven honey. Okay, one more. Okay, also we have some excess blueberries in here. We can have the thistle in there and some extra meat. Why not? Why not? Okay, let's repair really quick and go for some mining. The annoying thing is that I'm gonna have to do one... Oh, I don't think I can carry them all. That's too far away, yeah. I have, to go, I have to go back and forth and grab all the resources. But here's the thing, I'm gonna mine them first. So we're gonna have them nice and uh, ready. I'm gonna plant them in a chest. And once I have them all, we're gonna go for the base. We're gonna get swarmed occasionally by your uh, friendly Grey Dwarf community. Oh, that was a, such a bad shot. Yeah, so sometimes when I do the quick shot thing after they get staggered, I forgot that I must be really close. Okay, so let's see. And the ore deposit was somewhere around here. So yeah, I kinda need... Did I just hear a troll? Sometimes there is a weird noise happening in the background. I don't know. 
Okay, no, not this. Let's go. Why is it lagging so much? What's happening? Oh my god. That's annoying. Honestly, I don't know why this happens. But I'm 100% sure it's not my PC. Okay, so we have 24. We're good. So just a workbench here. With a chest. Good. Now I'm gonna find the lowest point, which seems to be this one. I can't seem to find any, anyone, any lower points. And I'm trying my best to actually... Well, you know what? We can dig a bit. Let's just do that. Okay, so now we have a lower point for the reference. Keep this. These trees are in the way, but it's fine so far. So I'm just gonna dig around it with a hoe. I highly suggest you do the same thing. Can I? No, I can't. I need to dig from here. So I'm gonna go once. Okay. We improved the pickaxe skill. Good. Oh boy, how far does this one stretch? This is not copper. Okay, let me see. So it's in here. Twice. One more. So see, this is why I was actually bugged by the fact that this thing is in... Uh, so it won't go down. I thought it would go down a bit, but it just doesn't. Okay, so it, this is it. Honestly, this is the entire ore. It's a pretty large one of that. So what I'm doing here... Let's just save quickly. So the way I start this is obviously by going straight into the middle of it. And I'm trying to find... Let's see if they actually... Let me see how this goes. I haven't mined the ore for a while. Okay, so we got one. That's amazing. I'm gonna have the wood outside. Usually, I try to position myself like this, in between two segments. Let's eat first. So yeah, because of this uh, really bad pickaxe, this might take a while. But yeah, so like this, I know that this is a segment and See, I, I try to position myself between two segments, or sections, of the ore. So I hit them two at a time, because that's that's really important, so you can have some economy. And, uh, oh my god, why am I getting... S they changed something or what? We're playing with double resources and we're getting a lot of stone and not a lot of ore. What's happening here? Also, I hate this fog. I don't know. They might have done something with the uh, copper ore. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is going bad. This is not as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, they definitely changed something. Because at first you could see the numbers. I think you could see them at the nodes now. Oh my god. Only six ore? Wow. So imagine this is with double resources. So I'm just trying to strike twice here between the segments, like I said. I wonder that we're not getting... I'm actually surprised that I'm, we're not getting swarmed by a lot of enemies. Okay, so it bounces back. We're at 10, so we're cool. I'm gonna need a lot of this thing. However, I don't know how easy will it be for us to get it. Because we kind of need 60 copper and 10... 10? Yeah, 10 tin for um, 30 bronze. Wish you could farm bronze instead of farming two ores. That's annoying. Okay, so three ore, I'll take it. But yeah, I can tell they've done something different with the ore because of the numbers where they're shown. Before you could see the numbers in front of you, now you see them sideways, in a weird fashion. 
So you can see the numbers now. Look at that. That's one that's behind below me and behind me. Same time. So this is weird. I don't know what they have done with your but they definitely have done something. Let me know if you know what happened with the ore. What did they change? So use your hoe to expose it, just like this. Not even gonna bother with digging down to get the entire ore. Because that will take... What? Oh, it just broke, the pickaxe broke. I thought I heard a skeleton or something. Now imagine getting a shot from a two-star skeleton out of nowhere while doing this. Is this safe? Totally not. Is it worth it? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know if this is worth it, but we can't progress without it. So we kind of need this. And they also tied a lot of things to this ore. Like, the progress in the game is all tied to the Bronze Age. And the Bronze Age is the most annoying of it all. Because you're gonna see, once we reach the, the Iron Age, or the swamp, things will be so much easier because, oh my, what am I doing? Pressing random keys on the keyboard. Because the ore will be in, uh, you will find a lot of iron scrap or iron ore in the chests in the dungeons. So I wish they did the same thing here, like finding some maybe copper or stuff like that in the dungeons. Because these dungeons only have circling cores. So they could actually add some more loot in the dungeons. What am I doing? I'm digging, digging towards nowhere. So look at that. We're almost through with this ore. So oh my god, I'm hitting three, th three nodes at the same time here. Or three chunks. Yeah, if I only had more... Uh, or a better pickaxe or a... Uh, hold on, there's an ant on my hand. Somehow an ant got on my hand. Look at that. I'm carrying too much. So yeah, let's just leave it down here then. Okay. So we're looking good. That's too much weight. Which one is not enough? So 18. Can we add two? Can we add two? Can we add two? No. So this is all that we can carry. Great. Oh, even the wood is too much. Fine, keep it. So we have to call it a day here. Oh my god. Yeah, finding the imagine finding the trader having the belt and doing this like normal people would do with a belt and everything. But the first thing we're gonna build is the cart, so we can uh, get rid of all this walking back and forth, and uh, also for wood farming and stuff like that. You're gonna need the cart. 10 will be easier to collect because it weighs less. So, um, yeah, I wish they changed the weight um, of these things because in 300, so I don't know, it's 10 weight, yeah. If you're bottom naked, you can carry 30. If you're not, well, you can't. Oh my god, imagine th 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 this thing takes a lot of time because it's almost, the day's almost out and we haven't, we have only 23. Oh my god. This is not looking good. Okay, so let's sleep on it, and tomorrow morning, hopefully with no rain, we can go and continue our work in the Black Forest to grab more of the delicious uh, copper. Delicious copper it is. Fourteen days, and we're into Bronze Age-ish. <laughs> Or we're not, actually, we're still on the way. Now let's quick scan for some trolls. Like I said, the trolls are the, is the only, I mean, the troll is the only thing, uh, or the trolls are the only thing that concerns me. And the same thing should go for you if you're gonna try and play the hardcore series. I love every single hardcore series, even if the guy uh, or the person dies, that's that's still good progress, I mean, like... I appreciate every single time I see someone playing it, or... I enjoy, actually, every material. And every recording of their experience. 
What I don't like, though, is I've seen one guy, and I've mentioned this in the, in other episodes, in the other episode, I think. Actually, there was one guy who, uh, I don't know the name of the channel, though, who tried to beat Hardcore, and he did it in a really, really awkward, strange, and not productive uh, fashion, where he actually, each time he died, he would start over from scratch. And eventually, well, you can tell he ran out of resources to build and craft. But at some point, he was everywhere on the on the map. So he was in the swamp, he was in the trees, he was <laughs> basically everywhere and he couldn't do anything. So he was getting targeted by raids. At some point, he would just let himself die a lot of times just to grab certain resources. He did manage to fight the Elder and uh, I think he fought the Elder, the Yaktir and the Elder, and but the rest was just, it was chaotic, it was a rather chaotic experience, and wait, I'm not, am I mining copper here? No, I'm mining stone as well. Come on, get up on top of it. That's what we, where we wanted. So it was overall a really bad experience, and um, at first it was interesting to watch. I really thought it was, I was seeing some cool stuff in there or learning stuff, new stuff about the hardcore series and stuff like that. But when I just realized that the guy was just um, eager to smack his head against the wall, the wall of the game, <laughs> in sort of a metaphorical speaking or language, I was really disappointed because he would he would die so many times. Eventually he ran out of materials to craft, he was somewhere stuck in between the swamp and the mountain without killing the bone mass. And he gave up. He gave up because he, he couldn't put up with it anymore. Because, honestly, if you're gonna lose... This is why the Hardcore series uh, should ha should be permadeath, okay? Because once you're dead, basically you're gonna lose all your items. Your preciously upgraded items. And... Um, all your stats, right? So without your stats and your items... It's basically starting from scratch, so why would you even consider starting from scratch um, on the same seed? I hate this fog. Can anyone tell me how to get rid of this? This bluish thing, I wish they removed this from the game. This is the most stupid thing, and it has nothing to do with real life, it looks bad, and I can't, I can't see anything. Does my... look, not even the torch. I think like the, if the torches would disperse this, but they don't. I hate this blue haze or thing or what what is this this thing? Let's eat. Before getting too angry here. But yeah, so I think like when you when you start um when you die in these series, you should start it over. That would be that would make the most uh, the, the most sense for me. Now we have the stone too, because we kinda need a lot of stone for the furnaces and the smelters. And I was like, oh boy, I need to farm stone. But I forgot that you get it from the... For a second there, I forgot that you get it from the ores. From the copper deposits. So, uh, actually, I'm only gonna go for... Uh, at first, let's go at first for uh, 60 or ish. 60 ish. Let's just get rid of this copper deposit because this is taking forever. Then we're gonna go grab some tin. Come on, can I stay here and hit them both at the same time? I don't know. Gonna grab some tin and start smelting because... Um, I, I should have started the... Oh my god. I really didn't plan this through. I should have actually started getting the coal ready. Oh my god. But it's fine, we're gonna be a bit far behind the schedule. Hold on. Not that there is a schedule, because like I said, I had no plan for this, so I was just eager to get into the Black Forest and get the copper going. Why is that number so small? Am I zoomed out too much? No. Okay, so this is the last chunk right here. And I'm gonna take the risk of climbing on it. And getting really zoomed in. So when you're farming or you should be zoomed out. So you see more. 
and avoid any troll attacks or encounters. Okay, boy, let's just do this. I do think we have more than enough, so let's see. Can we carry 22, right? 23, oh, okay, so we can carry 23 at a time. Can we do this 23, 26, oh, God. 23, 23. We might carry this when it comes for the stone, so let's just run. Oh, I haven't saved in a while. So now that we have it, I thought I saw troll spawning here. Am I stupid? Am I imagining things? Probably yes. Hold on. Is there a troll? What is there? What is moving? Oh, the, the leaves of the trees. So I'm very, very, very careful here. Like I said, honestly, the black forest for me is scarier than the swamp. Because in the swamp, I'm going to show you even how you take care of abominations. It's, there, there are super easy ways to take care of the abomination. But in here, you have no place to run, no place to hide, no place to climb. You're kind of screwed, no matter how, what happens to you, so... Be extra careful in the black forest, because why do I keep going around the house? <laughs> oh my god. So be extra careful in the dark forest, because if you made it past the dark forest... You should be A-OK -okay until you hit the plains. And those pesky little mosquitoes. Yeah, I'm gonna keep calling them mosquitoes. Because they're mosquitoes. Even they're called death mosquitoes. They kinda hit hard though, so. Okay. So this has to be, even if it's hardcore, the most peaceful... Okay, so it's not the most peaceful. Well, one of the most peaceful um, farming sessions ever. Can I snipe you? Oh, I missed it. I missed that shot. That was a headshot. I'm totally going for the loot. I'm gonna need their eyes. I'm gonna need a lot of Grey Dwarf's eyes. For the ice cream. We're gonna have ice cream soon enough. Now, I think I have to do this road twice, two more times or so. I think I saw something blue there. That was just my haze. <laughs> okay. So far, so empty. What am I carrying too much? Oh, I'm carrying the wood. So this is a bit annoying, feel free to skip if it, this bothers you, you have to skip like three or two or three minutes ahead, because I kind of have to go and grab the entire ore and take it back home. But like I said, I'm not going to have any cuts in the filming and the recording. I'm going to keep it as cut free as possible, only if the game crashes or something like that happens I'm going to have to cut it, but even if that happens I'm going to continue right where I started. So. Uh, For the record, you're gonna see all the stats and everything uh, at the same way, in the same way. But like I said, if I'm dead, I'm dead. I'm not, uh, I'm not taking... Where am I going? I'm not cheating or not doing anything fishy. Because this is a challenge, right? So challenge equals no cheating. If okay, so just when I said that, the game just crashed. So <laughs> I was talking about the game crashing and then I got an error. Tell me that the Valheim crashed for some reason. So yeah, this is why you should totally save a lot. I've just been to the house and get the re get, got the rested bonus, so... We're still here, we still have the same stats, I haven't died or anything. But yeah, the game just crashed on me, so... I don't know... If I manage to grab the rest of the resources, these guys are still here. So, uh, I don't know how much has changed. I still have to do the runs where I grab the... Yeah, let's get rid of this for now. Also, we get rid of those. We have plenty of resin for now. I'm not gonna be excessively addictive about it, so <laughs> we should be fine. But boy, imagine the game crashing in a boss fight. That would be fun. Okay, so we just need to do this two more times. 
so we can grab some stone also for the for the smelters and the furnaces and meanwhile while I'm at it oh actually I should have started okay so let's have a plan let's, let's actually make a plan here because planning your things in this game was gonna save you a lot of trouble so we can start smelting wood of oh, smelting getting coal my yeah uh, So let's get the coal going. While well, we're still running away chasing goats. So how much for a... Um, where is it? So yeah, we can craft portals. I don't know if we can use them. I don't think we can use them because they're off, off limits. 20, 20. Do I have 60 stone? For some reason I think I don't. No way near. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go and grab... Um, Save again. We've done this, so we're not losing any more progress. Okay, where are you? Because I keep hearing you, and I keep I I, I do know that you're you're, uh, you're giving me a hard time here. So go away. Not imagine doing this. Oh, there he is. You pesky little thing. Okay, but I'm I'm trying to go back and let's grab the last. Uh, let's grab the stone first, actually. So let's grab the stone, so we can start uh, getting coal. While we're running around here, we should have at least the coal going. And then while we're going for the tin, we can start uh, actually smelting the ore. Well, we're going to grab the tin. The thing is, we're only going to need 30 tin, so not even that, actually. So, 50, 53, that's, that's, that should do it. And one more run for this. Okay, can I grab this too? No, of course not. Do. What was I thinking? But I am a bit used to have the belt. It really it's really difficult and uh, yeah so I think it's another thing that increases the difficulty of the game the fact that you don't have 450 carry weight here so it's only 300 but yeah we're fine we should be fine so this will be a bit of a sad episode where we just run around and grab resources and everything but uh it needs to be done honestly so you see what's happening in every single situation so 60 there we go 60 of those and 15 core do i need to add some resin here now now let's see now we have the 15 core and boy oh boy let's go let's go gonna have one here can I fit them in here actually that would be perfect yes I can and it looks nice it even looks nice so there we go we have them going there 75 wood and let's start adding the wood oh they're charcoal kilns smelting wood I like the fact that they changed the fire animation inside of these things when you place them in the fire looks a bit better I don't know what they have done with the the fire, uh, the lingering fire effect on enemies. That looks a bit weird, and and change, they changed the sound, maybe due to the Ashlands update. But it sounds different, and it looks different. Whenever you hit a fire arrow or an, on an enemy, or set them on fire, we have to eat soon, just to keep our HP going. While I'm navigating through here, I'm extra, extra careful for um, for any large blue objects that might resemble a troll. Because right now, we're not really, not really comfortable in uh, fighting trolls. Let's save again. Especially the ones with the... So the normal troll isn't that much of a problem. The one with the log scares me. 
Even though I did learn to dodge roll his attacks. But like I said, the Black Forest is hands down the most... What was that? <laughs> the most dangerous area of the game. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to leave them there. I hate to have uh, random items on my map. Is that a Grey Dwarf? All day long. So as you can see, not even the Finewood Bow, so even the Finewood Bow misses, even though I had the aim going. There we go. So the Charcoal Kilns are doing their thing. We can go and grab some tin meanwhile. Oh boy, we have a lot of ore, so we're good. We're good on ore so far, okay? Let's go and grab some tin. I'm gonna see if I can try around, try and grab around 30. We're gonna need 10 for... Oh, we can have the great ore size here. So we can, we kinda need, we're gonna need this and this, I don't need those. But yeah, you're gonna find a lot of, uh, Din near the Black Forest, near the shore of the Black Forest. So 10 tin we need for the cauldron and the rest for getting the actual bronze. Can I snipe you? At least one of you. Just wanted to get a sweet powerful attack on the second guy. Okay. So let's see, I'm only always looking carefully to see and not miss any single uh, tin deposit while also looking, keep an eye for my enemies. So imagine my eyes are actually spread apart right now. One is looking to my left and one is looking to my right. <laughs> Keeping an eye on everything. So I'm looking for trolls while I'm while farming here some tin. But like I said, if you look the care weight of this thing. Oh, actually it's pretty pretty heavy, but still not as heavy as the copper. Let's see. Yeah, 236. We should be able to get get this one too. And that's all the tin that we need. So there's not much of farming with double resources or grinding. 28. We can do one more. Even if this means leaving some ore on the ground here. Which is totally a waste. Yeah, so we're, we're perfectly on 30 now. But yeah, you can only carry 23 copper at this carry weight, at normal carry weight, the 300 one with all the belt. And you can carry 30 tin ore, which is only weights 8, the other one weights 10 per piece. So actually, I think we can... Uh, I'm gonna get the tin going. And I wish to do this before tonight. I'm gonna show you a quick trick on how to actually grab the resources. Hold on, let's calculate something really quick here. So we have 60 and the 61 will require... How much does it require? 60, we're gonna have... Uh, 10? I don't know, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused. So this is 30 bronze and for each one you need 60... I'm gonna need 30 for this. No, this is gonna be right. Wait. How much tin do I need to get the bronze? Two for one. Half of 60 is 30. Oh wait, so I need more tin. You're right. Oh, I need to get another one. So I'm gonna go and grab those really quick. So we need another batch of 30. But I should have waited for the rest of the buff. Uh, let's wing it. Should be fun, risking it. Okay. So we kind of need another 30. What was I thinking? We're only 30, 30 tin. So what I'm doing now, I would totally advise you not to do it because it's getting dark and I'm still farming tin. But I'm gonna show you a cool trick here on how to actually smell things to your advantage. Most of you know it. But I'm sure there are some new players there who don't know it. Even they are if they are watching hardcore series, they must be hard on. Not playing the normal game, but watching straight hardcore Valheim. This is like playing hardcore Minecraft or any other game that has a hardcore 
difficulty. But yeah, this is some sort of a hardcore plus because it's a bit more difficult than a hardcore. So you have no portals at all. Oh, look, there's a Skelly Skelly. Can I get a sneak shot on him? Yeah. And also we have more raids than the normal uh, hardcore difficulty. We're good here. Let's go back. Get back, get back, get back. So always, here's the tip, okay? Since we're close to the base. Um, always, always, always smelt or um, let your things go. Oh, I don't have enough stone. I need to go for stone too. Fudge. This is, this is dangerous. This is getting dangerous a bit. But I don't want to waste the first night. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, really fast. We need to move quick and be effective, efficient, if whatnot. Okay, so I'm gonna plant really the... Let's have this going. Before going for... Uh, I need to go and grab more stone to get the furnaces going. I'm gonna smash the E-key to get them faster. If you smash the E-key, you're gonna actually add them faster. If you hold the key, the E-key pressed on your keyboard... So, we're definitely taking a really, very big risk here. I'm not even going to wait for the rested buff. What am I doing? Come on, go, 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 let's go. I'm going to need more stone from the Black Forest. And I'm not going to farm stone outside my house, like a normal man would do. Let's grab the torch. I'm actually going to farm, uh, to go into the Black Forest, yeah, and grab more stone. Wait. Um, I thought I had I had the required stone, but I don't. Our bow skill should be getting higher and higher. Okay, as you can see, it's nighttime and the enemies um, are starting to swarm. What was that? What was that shot about? Okay, let's see. We got level thirty-one, I think, in the bows. Yeah, 31. Actually, why am I throwing away resources? Oh yeah, look at this. As you can see, there is no joke. This is no joke. The enemies are definitely in higher mounts, especially during the night time. So going in the night time, in the Black Forest, the thing that I'm just doing right now, I would totally advise you not to do it. Unless you have a death wish, so we're gonna risk it here. Look at the amount of enemies. Oh boy. We're in for a treat. At least we're getting resources, I guess. Yeah, these guys. Okay, okay, okay. Let's wait for some stamina to go back and take care of them with uh, flaming arrows. Because four of these, um, I'm not so comfortable with four of them around me. Okay, one goes like this and the other goes like this. Now we can have the normal arrows on. Really? Where are you going? But there you go. Thank god those are the normal ones and not any... two-star... Imagine having a two-star troll attacking you right now. Where is my... Or, where's my chest? There's my chest. It's hard to th see things during the night. Okay, so... Uh, can I get the wood too from here? If I could get the wood, I'd be super happy. Okay, so we got the wood too. And we're all, we've lost the rested bonus. Great. Now, anything that happens from here all the way up until we get home... It's stupidly dangerous. So let's save. Not like that matters. But yeah, I would totally advise you not to do this unless you're a crazy person like myself. Oh, speaking of two star enemies, there you go. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. You can't do that, mate. I'm outpacing you. Oh, that was the two star shot. 
Let's keep that sweet fire going. Let's keep that sweet fire going. Oh, that was a sh shoot you. Come on, man. That was a hit from a two star. So as you can see, even two star Gweaver, he, he won't get staggered. He can't be bothered with that. So actually, he took a lot of damage there. Oh boy. What have I gotten myself into? Quickly, quickly, why am I doing this at night? Because I had all the day to do it and I for some reason I didn't do it. Where do we place these ones? If I place them here. Yeah, why not? Let's place them here. One. Two. Three. Let's get the coal inside really fast. You need around 60 coal. Oh wait, so the coal goes here. I'm gonna smash them fast so we can get to sleep. So here's the thing, yes, you leave this um, to smelt overnight, and by the time you wake up in the morning, all the resources will be smelted. So we're gonna start with the tin. Come on. Also, don't mix the ores. If you have in your inventory tin and copper, they will. This thing will mix the ores, and they will get. Uh, you will need to destroy them. They will get blocked. So let's sleep on it. Oh my God! Really? Oh boy! This is the longest night of my life. What enemies are nearby now? How did you get here? Can I please, please rest? I feel tired. I'm actually really, come on, confused. Can I get on with this night, please? Oh my god. I think one of the game tips says it's a bad idea to venture outside in, during the night. Thank you, game, for being smarter than me. Let's close the door and let's sleep. So we actually made it. We made it to act to, to the bad. We made it. This was the longest night and I, honestly the most dangerous thing I've ever done in this game. So as you can see, the smelling process is not over yet because I mostly slept during the... I mostly didn't sleep during the entire night. So yeah, about that. Okay, so now we have the... Hold on, let me get the tools going. I'm gonna keep the pickaxe with us in case something stupid happens and we get blocked somewhere. I'm gonna craft some more arrows. Hold on here. Soon enough. But yeah, we should be fine. So how many do they... Does this think I would just want? So we're, we're soon cool. About it. Okay, we can get the we can get more wood going here. So I'm gonna have this in the chest. Get grab ten more. Please, can I have ten more? I can't hit the keys on my keyboard because one and ten are super far apart. But okay, so this is. Uh, this is the entire process. So just start in the morning first thing. If you have to smelt, start smelting. Right? Because then you can go on with your day and just come here and you can actually smelt, smelt twice a day. And this will actually help you. So yeah, let's get the tin going because like I said first. Will help you a lot to get the ore, the ore faster. So no matter what you do, you leave them here and then you can go on with your uh, normal farming or whatever you're doing. Right, folks. So, and we have our first event. Of course, we do. The forest is moving. Hey, hey, hi, 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 hi. Why am I jumping like that? Okay, okay. So yeah, you just activate Ike here, and I'm totally not prepared for this raid. I should have done something really smarter about this. 
Oh yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm just running around. Waiting for them to despawn. No need to fight them all. Actually, I can drag them here. This feels like a better spot. So there, more raids. Why would I even want more raids? But if you look at... Like I said before, if you look at the raids and do what I'm doing, um, they're pretty easy. So just have some small structures. Yeah, you can keep the running them in circles. Hi, Mr. Shaman. Come on. Do it. I know you want to do it. <laughs> so the most dangerous thing in this uh, horde is the Shaman and the Brute. So yeah, we're just running. Look at them. A bunch of them. What a happy family. <laughs> This is incredibly easy. Look at that. Look at that. We're just running. We're just running. We don't care about... We're just looking at them. Admiring their um, amazing feat of keeping up with my excessively ridiculous running skills. Ow. Ow. Don't. Don't. Wait for some stamina to regenerate. I actually can move around the base with them following you. Look around. I'm going to do this, so... They're gonna have a hard time catching up with me. Because they're not interested in actually destroying your base. They've only start destroying your base if you're inside the base, so they can get to you. If it's just moving around, okay, the first rest again. Look at that. And that's highly convenient. So what I want, hold on, let me get a quick headshot on the brood there. That's that's more like it. Whee! Okay. So, one more shot on you and you're done. Now I just need the shaman to be cooked. He'll start healing, but it's a normal way, it's a normal uh, shaman and I'm going to uh, obviously delete it really fast. If I could just hit these guys. So we're just going to move in a circular pattern here. So, oh, why? Just take a left sharp turn there, because that's normal. Okay, how about that? Now, will the forest rest again? They have actually damaged my uh, gate here, right at the entrance. There we go. Everything else is not damaged. So that was the raid. Wow, that was so difficult. Oh my god, the raids are really difficult on this mode and whatnot. They're actually not. So let me just throw everything on the ground here because we're gonna take care of those things later on. I'm a bit far behind with my um, charcoal smelting just because we had that raid and this will be a bit stupid because now... You should get this simultaneously and start with this, and then start the, the other process. Well, whatever. Let's go. Start the actual smelting. The ore smelting process. So there. We got some really weird resources out of that. But as you can see, the raids are not a problem. They're super easy. Just use our active power to run around. Actually, let's do this. Let's actually... Hold on, hold on, hold on. That raid really pissed me off, so I'm gonna take some time here. Okay, let's grab more arrows. First things first. Arrows, arrows, arrows. How, how are we doing on arrows here? See, this is why I'm keeping the arrows on me. Always have some spare arrows. <laughs> good, we're good at this point. Okay, we can be even better. Oh, that's too much care weight in my inventory. Okay, so let's get the hoe. I keep forgetting where our places. Why are these? Oh my god. Let's get the hope. No, I really want to do something here. So if we are ever going to be invaded again by that uh, marvelous group of enemies, let's do something really quick here. I'm going to show you how to get rid of them for real. For good. We're gonna raise the ground right about. Where do we do it? This? We do it in here? No, there's the ores. I need a place where I can just climb. 
So yeah, we can do it in here. There's no workbench here. Screw this. Okay, let's go. Just here. Okay, don't care. So one... Get this thing as high as possible. So is that the max height? That's the max height. Okay. We're gonna take some full damage here. Might as well go here and take the less damage. So that's a nice pillar all around. Gonna get another one just nearby. If I can... Uh, Well, this might, they might actually damage my... So we can, like, let's make it here. Okay, so now I just need to make it a bit wider. So let's widen it up a bit. Ugh. I'm gonna take so much fall damage out of for nothing. I need some more stone for this, but there it is. Okay, it's a bit off the center. Why would I just do this? Oh boy, do I delete it? Screw it. No, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. I just lost a lot of health there. And you can even even it up a bit like this one more there and we should be okay so while this is um, cooking can I get just no we're gonna lose a lot of health anyway so let's grab some more stone let's see if we have some annoying stone nearby I'm also running out of stone so might as well there is a large stone nearby and it's really annoying I'm gonna climb on top of it if I can climb on top of it. Save after the delicious raid. So you're gonna see. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> just sliding down. The more time you're gonna spend in your base, the more raids you're gonna have, right? So uh in a second here. This will be the last day, obviously. We are kinda hold on, let me. Okay. I just had to uh, move my phone because otherwise I would have dropped it. So let's just grab the stone, finish that structure, and um, basically we're going to run through the days here until we have our um, smelting process finished. So when the day is at its half, so when you can actually sleep, I'm just going to sleep and let the smelting process move faster. Allow it to... I don't care about how many days we survive, it's not like I want to prove you that in the five fifth day we have reached bone mass. That's not the point of this challenge, okay? So. I'm gonna wait for... Okay, so the other ones are ready. Just waiting for the kiln. Might also... What am I doing here? Might also need to grab some extra... Stone. Okay, so now this is interesting. This is a safe haven. Just need to add some stairs to that safe haven. And everything should be in order. Also have some extra stone that we can place it back where it belongs. Uh, these things will need to refueling soon enough. Okay, so let's grab, just grab some wood and see what we're gonna do about this. How are the charcoal kilns going? Three. Three, yes, we can use that. Actually, let's... Hold on, hold on. We might be... Yeah, but there's a lot of things. There are a lot of things to do around your base at this point. So um, that's what we're gonna do. If we're gonna manage to finish everything that's uh, related to the base and the smelting process, then we can actually. What is this? What is this? What am I? Oh my god! I'm having coal on me. Then we can get into more um, complicated stuff, so to say. So I think uh, the rain is, yeah, starting to rain. Great. But we're gonna go and start with the kilns. Okay, let's go, let me smash the E key so this can go a bit faster. Uh, right there, 25. I wish you can add them all at once. This is a bit annoying to have to press E that many times. So wait a second, where's my coal? 
Oh my god, I just placed the call in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. What's happening? My brain is fried. Okay, let's get this going. Oh, look at that. We're almost into Bronze Age. We'll be in the Bronze Age in the next episode, I think. Or tomorrow morning. Which will be the next episode, because I have overstayed my welcome when it comes to time for this episode. Now, how are we going to do this? I really want a nice set of stairs for this thing. So, uh, something of like this. Ah, this they will do. Okay. So the, 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 this is not good. Oh, this is so bad actually. Okay, no. So big no. Big no right here. I'm just trying things out. I don't know if they're actually gonna work or not. Let's try having it the stairs like this, I guess. Now will these fall into the right order? Okay, this is so much better actually. Are they connected to the wall? They are connected to the wall, so they're fine. We can have one more here. So, uh, how do I do this? We're gonna delete these two. Extend the base a bit in this direction. Yeah, get rid of this uh, extra soil there. So here's the thing. Uh, I could show you some really interesting things about the ground manipulation, but I'm not gonna do them, and I'm not gonna do that in this episode. So the only need to hit the ground once to make it uh, like here, this chunk, and then use the hoe to even it up. See, you don't need to use your pickaxe that many times. Oh boy, but this should have been way different. So let's try, let's try, 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 try we, try we shall. Oh no, still, I need, I need to get, get rid of this entire thing. So here it is, so one, two, since I'm gonna show you grand manipulation techniques. So just hitting those large chunks of uh, dirt, and you can see now you can even it up easier. So just one here that's left, didn't get the swing in there. So as you can see, this is way smoother. Now, can I get this like this? Yes, I can. Oh, this is way better. Now, this is in the way. Oh, God. Oh, no. I have to move this entire thing. Really? There's another raid coming. And I have no Ike Tear buff. And it's raining. Oh, but wait. We can test, actually, our uh, structure here. Duh. Let's test the structure. Look at that. <laughs> the raid at its peak. Oh, so they're destroying the base either way. I thought this was going to be a good idea. So if they can't chase you, they're just going to start smacking you around. What if I stay here? Okay. I'm just looking, I'm just curious to see this theory, where are they... But they still, they're still gathering here, they're not piling up in the base, actually. So this is still better than uh, running around. They're going for everything but me. Look at the rocks flying up and down. Well, this is the most anticlimactic raid ever. I might add some walls down here, just so they have something to strike. Because I can, they, these things are like dogs in your house. <laughs> they want to chew something or destroy something. 
So it might add some walls around this structure. Oh, look at that. Even the shaman is going for the structures. So like I said, the more time you spend in your base... This thing looks stupid here. Okay. The forest rests again. Thank God it does. So now you can just smack them down there. They just want more. So I'm gonna give them more. Wait for some stamina regeneration. So yeah, that might actually be a great idea. To have some something to destroy. For him something for them to destroy. Don't over... Where's the shaman? Really? You're gonna... You're gonna do this to me, Shaman. Mr. Shaman. There's also Grayling. Where's the Brute? The Brute has to be somewhere around here. I didn't get the Brute, though. Okay, so they did try and destroy the base. So I'm just going around spamming clicks. But other than that, the plan was actually successful. And look, we got free wood and free stone. They have also destroyed these structures. So here's my uh, here's my idea. Ah, uh, can I get the workbench? Okay, let's have a workbench here, dear God. So these guys want to strike something, right? So let's add some stake walls here. So they can um, unleash their vengeance. <laughs> and their thirst of destroying things. Okay, look at that. Now they can destroy things in, in peace and quiet. But the, the brute is now somewhere in the meadows. And it's gonna come out at the wrong time. So we're gonna end this episode here. Um, unless we're gonna get another... Um, Amazing, uh, wait, where's the, oh, oh my god, I got scared, oh, 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 I was so scared, because there were so many items on the ground that they, um, the actual ores got stuck together. So, okay, let's save, and get the, I'm actually going to do this, uh, Let's see. Get this in here, get these in here. No, I've lost the honey. I wish you can add fav add favorites to your items. Wait, how's our fire growing? Not good. Six. Bad, bad, bad fire. That's a bad fire. Okay, we got even more resin. Because this is what we needed. So before going to sleep, I'm going to set these things in order back where we started. Uh, we're gonna go with 50 with 10. Send the rest of them in here. So we get the copper and the rest of it. You won't be able to. Yeah. But oh boy. Oh boy, we've achieved a lot in this episode. So. Uh, I think in the next episode we will be able to further improve the base against raids. And get even clever uh, ways of actually <laughs> dealing with raids. Because that structure, this thing should protect you against trolls too. I haven't tested it. So, um, honestly, there is no way you can test it. Because if, <laughs> if a troll actually strikes you, it gets you. Oh, look. Oh, you're here. Goodbye, Mr. Neck. It has been an honor. Okay, so you guys are... St you want to tell me that these guys are attacking my base? Oh my god, they're gonna be so deleted off this world. I don't care. I don't care if they're cute and green. What are you doing here? You got lost or something? Oh boy. See, this is what I'm talking about. There are a lot of extra enemies. 
Oh, oh, they went for the craft workbench. Okay, that makes more sense. So the only annoying thing is now that I've uh, actually placed that. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to get rid of these items really fast. Get rid of the wood too. Oh boy, here we go. Planning things that don't go well. Oh, it's actually 43 wood in there. And this is perfect. Almost-ish. Not good at math, like I said it before. So let's split it even. Uh, and call it a day after we're gonna smell the start of this uh, charcoal farm. This is a perfect example of a good charcoal farm. What am I talking about here? I don't know. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And that's it. Okay, oh boy, we've achieved a lot. We still have a lot to go in the next episodes. But thank you all so much for watching. And uh, as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Much love from me and see you soon. Goodbye.